So does your paint stink like my paint stinks? Well, I got some paint that stinks pretty bad and I've got a product, a couple products, I'm gonna try to get rid of the odor in this paint. So we're gonna actually see if it works in this video. So if, if you got stinky paint and you need to resolve it, you gotta stay tuned for this video. This is Paint Life TV and I am Chris, the Idaho Painter, and we're gonna try to get rid of some stinky paint today. All right, so I got a couple products here in front of me and I got a product I recently was doing a bathroom with that smells actually pretty good and has um, a pleasant odor to it. And maybe I just, I would say just smells like, you know, every standard interior paint. And then I have this product. I'm a big fan of this whole idea of recycled paints and not putting paints in the landfill. I think this is a great thing. And I recently tested, um, you know, one company's paint that was actually pretty good. And that's, I got a uh, video painting a garage with it. And the odor of it was just like any standard paint and it was a recycled paint or it's actually an, oh, they call it an upcycled paint. I think this is a recycled paint um, and it's a product from Green Sheen and I did a commercial building recently in it. When I opened up the cans, um, I was blasted with a pretty strong um, odor in the paint that was really bad smelling and it reminded me of some paints uh, a long long time ago in my career i opened up that had been in somebody's garage that mildewed and it had an extreme strong odor of mildew but i figured okay you know we're going to be painting the inside of this building and it's going to dry and go away you know fairly soon anyways no big deal well literally a month later um there was uh, complaints from the people in the building that the odor was making them um, sick and it just was extremely strong. And it, it literally, it did take more than a month for the odor of this product to go away. And this is the batch that it came from and the product we were painting with right here. And uh, it's the worst smelling paint that I've ever smelled in my life. Now I've got um, some products here that we have in Paint Life Supply. Um, dot com and they are eliminate odors and paint. Now I'm going to test to see if it's going to get rid of the, this odor. Now what I smell is an extremely strong smell of mildew um, or mold. And so um, I'm not sure if there's active living mold in there. It just smells like it really, really bad. This can's been sitting for a while. Um, open it up. You got, got resins at the top of the can that are sitting there. It needs to be stirred up. Um, it's already smelling really bad from right here. And um, that building, when I would go in that building um, several weeks later, I was actually getting kind of nauseated and sick from it. Um, I highly recommend if you buy this product, do not paint it indoors. Um, um, once again, I'm a big fan of uh, the company recycling paint and, and for outdoors, the smell of that paint is not gonna be a big issue. You probably wouldn't smell it at all except when you're applying it. But right here, I'm just absolutely surrounded by a terrible smell of um, mildew. Now I'm gonna take, this is a product um, from Walla Walla Environmental called Odorex. Um, it eliminates odors in paint. This is a paint odor eliminator called Kabosh. This will be for five gallons. You can measure it out in gallon portions. Now, I don't think that this was designed to um, deal specifically with this. So if the, um, with paint like this, um, that has maybe a, a mildew growing in the paint actively, because I don't know if there's mildecides in this paint because it is a bunch of paints boxed together, stirred up, strained, um, and then it's, so it's recycled paint. But if it works, then it's great because it'll, um, now you'll be able to use this paint indoors. So we're going, it says on um, the package, it says neutralizes unpleasant odors produced by paints, thinners, strippers, and epoxies. So it neutralizes the odors. Is it gonna neutralize? If it neutralizes this, um, this is gonna be a great product for you to um, use. I'm actually gonna test this one too because I got multiple gallons of this. I'll test them both, but this is, it just says paint odor eliminator, puts an end to 75 to 90% of paint odors. That means a more pleasant painting experience for everyone. So um, we're gonna see if that's what it does. Now I'm just gonna take this, Put it inside here. We'll just shake it up. It doesn't say to shake it up. Um, 
odor actually removes unpleasant odors. Um, it says um, paint thinners without affecting color or dry time. So it doesn't affect your color or dry time, okay? Um, so here we go. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna let it set for a while. Um, we're in here doing a um, vanity makeover video and um, testing some other products out and stuff. But let me, um, that uh, kind of just smells like dish soap is what that smells like. Um, so we'll just dump that in here and we're gonna stir it up. Um, one of the best stir whips I've ever used is the Hyde um, stir whip right here. So you definitely wanna stir this up really good and we're gonna see what happens. And um, let it set for a while. Okay, I think I got this stuff stirred in there well enough. Now I'm gonna uh, kind of do um, a taste test, not literally, but um, I need to take this out of here. Uh, after stirring that, you know, obviously the wind created, um, you know, the smell effect. Now, now I'm gonna smell it now and see if it's changed the odor now. You know, that's pretty amazing. Um, I still smell mildew, but it's not nearly as strong. I'm gonna have Tyler um, test it out and see what his opinion is. I actually can stick my face right in there and actually, I mean, before it was, I mean, I'd almost puke in the can it was so bad that is not bad let me set, let that set for a minute i'm gonna bring lisa out here we're gonna put two together and we're gonna have to smell one and smell the other one but i'm i i literally didn't think that stuff was gonna work and it did work that is odorex from it's so far it's worked really well i'm not saying it's got rid of it 100 percent but let it set for a minute. I'm gonna stir it again. I'm gonna grab, just to make sure, another, I'm, it's weird because I feel like I'm gonna sneeze now. Um, I think I inhaled a bunch of chemicals in the paint. Um, but I'm gonna pause a minute, go grab another can of green chain. Like I said, I've got lots of this stuff. So here's a couple more gallons. Um, you, you definitely, like this has like, um, the can's closed now, but we can smell it in the entire room. It has more of an odor like um, like maybe perfume type odor. And there's like, um, I've used these products before and they actually work really, really well. So um, from Paint Sensation, like there's different flavors. Um, scents, uh, Citrus Squeeze, Crisp Linen, Tropical Winds, uh, Citrus Squeeze again. These are for a gallon. You can add those to paint and they actually make the paint smell really good. I like the vanilla. Um, flavor. Um, don't eat the paint. Scent. Vanilla scent. And if you, um, you know, have a client for some reason that wants, you know, their bedroom or something like that to have, you know, a nice odor in it, you can add that stuff to the paint and it actually works really, really well. Um, I don't think, uh, it'd be interesting to try it on this. Maybe I will try it on one of these cans. I will actually. Let's, um, open one of these up and see if, um, they all smell. I mean, every one of them I've opened up smells. So, oh, that's bad. Um, that's what you call bad. Um, I'm gonna take a big whiff of it and uh, to compare. Um, I'll open them both up. That's like really nasty. Um, that's amazing. So that's, um, it, it is really masted quite a bit, but don't trust my nose because I've been a painter for 20 years. I'm gonna bring my wife out here, have her do the taste test, and then we'll see what she says. Um, I'm going to cover that one. We'll make sure this, see what this one smells like. I'm gonna have Tyler come smelling too and see if he smells a difference in them. That one even smells worse. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Let me let me stir. I'm gonna stir this one up and see if it even smells nasty-er. Um, 
once it's stirred up. Because these have been, I used them on a project um, about six months ago. So they've been sitting about six months. So you can see all the resin. If you've never seen paint that's been sitting, that's all the resin, one of the expensive things in paint that gives paint its washability, durability. So now we've got our flavor all stirred up. Let me see. That's some really nasty stuff. And so Lisa's here. We're going to have her come do the taste test now. Taste um, test? Yes. No, so, dangerous. You die. so come here, Lisa. Let's um, give this a try. I'm going to ask you. Well, we'll first, um, what we'll first do is I'm going to have you just smell. Um, you're probably smelling a lot of different smells in the room now because we've opened up a lot of different things. How about, Lisa, you just come over here and smell Benjamin Moore. Let me smell the Benjamin Moore. Um, this is Benjamin Moore Regal. We've already added one of the flavors to the paint. It's not flavors. We don't want people to eat paint. So, that's, so the, the Regal is like one of the better smelling paints I've ever used. Um, I'm not into smelling paints, but I paint a lot as a painter. And um, I've gotten really sensitive to paint odors um, over time. And there's a lot of paints that give me headaches. And this actually was giving me headaches. I had to take um, Tylenol when I was in the building using it. Come, can you smell the Regal for me, Lisa? And tell me what you think of the smell of Regal. Don't get your hair in it. But you gotta start saying taste. Um, I said smell. It smells fine. So that's, that does that, that doesn't bother you. No, you think that's, me. does that smell like normal paint to you? Yeah, but very mild. Okay. So, um, now we'll close the Regal up and we will have Lisa come smell, um, some green sheen. So some green sheen recycled paint. Tell me what you smell of that. Don't get your paint or hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that's like rotten. So you think that's rotten? That's like, that could make you sick. You, you, only, you like almost coughed and threw up in the can. Yeah, because I took a big whiff of it. You did take a big whiff of it. So uh, yeah, that's not, there's, that's rotten, like rotting. So we, we don't want you, we need you to come back um, so we can hear you. I want you to smell this one because this one smells better. Just try it. It's not all that stirred up. so gross. That's just the resins at okay. the top. It looks really gross. It's just the resins. <laughs> just smell it really fast. Okay. It's just weird. <laughs> just, I, I don't know. It didn't make me want to throw up, but it was weird. Okay. Because that one's not stirred up. This one was stirred up, so the odor was stronger. Oh, that's nice. So they're the same thing. Okay. Um, so now that one, yeah. What I did was I took um, some Odorex. I put the Odorex in this can. Okay. I did. Trust okay. me. You can vouch. Okay. Tyler can vouch that I did. So come over here. Um, smell this one. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't make me want to throw up. It's, what smell is it? It's kind of like a weird, it's, what is it? Smell it's, this, come smell the Odorex. Does it smell like that? Yeah, what, I mean, it's. So the, so the Odorex, um, apparently the Odorex um, has worked really well. So the Odorex, I dumped the Odorex in here, stirred so it up. So do you think it really smelled the same as that one? Um, Did you? I'm going to, I'll test them again myself. This one's the worst because it was stirred up. Okay, let me, here we go. That's pretty nasty. That one's not quite as nasty because it's stirred up. I really don't, I mean, I really don't smell the mildew smell in there anymore. I'm, I'm pretty amazed. So let me, I'm going to stir it up one more time. 
I'm shocked it worked because I, I literally, I honestly literally it did not think. neutralized the odors. I literally didn't think it was going to work. So I'm kind of actually excited um, that this actually worked. Can't tell which way I'm going. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna see if kibosh works. And so, um, isn't that the one that doesn't smell? So this one, um, this one smells. So let me. they kind of smell the same. A little bit different. Um, come here, Lisa. That's kind of nice. What it, ooh, that's more, I don't know what So this is. one's a little bit harsher. Yes. Okay, don't spill. What is the smell? It's just kind of like. Pleasant. Yeah, like soap. flowery. Flowery yeah, soap. soap. Yeah. Okay, what we need is Tyler to come and smell these two right here. Um, we'll get one more nose involved. We don't want to harm Tyler's smeller. We'll have him smell something good. How does it smell? It smells like lavender dish soap. Lavender dish soap? How, what is this? Just normal dish soap. <laughs> Matt, he should be a chef. I mean... That's pretty interesting. I mean, he, he has a good nose. He's got a good nose. I mean, he just identified he something. He hasn't smelled it yet. Oh, oh, here, I'll we're, hold it on you. We're, we're going to, okay. We want him to smell the one. Well, he did, so Tyler did smell. Well, you, you didn't smell when it was stirred up, so it's stirred up now. Wait, is this the bad one? So this is the bad one. So go ahead and smell the bad one. Yeah, that's unpleasant, to that's, say the least. So Tyler says it's unpleasant, to say the least. So um, come smell this one, Tyler. It has the odor X in it. That smells, yeah, it's kind of neutral. So you definitely feel like it changed yeah, definitely. the flavor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're in agreement. Um, odor X actually worked on the worst case scenario you probably could ever have. You know, don't take me seriously when I say flavor, okay? I know somebody is going to, I'm just kidding talking about smells here. So let's stir this one up. We want to give kibosh a chance because um, we know where you can get both of them. Okay, I'm going to dump some kibosh in here. Is that the recommended amount? It is. I put one gallon's worth. So this is... Um, so this is interesting. So I'm going to highly, highly recommend to Green Sheen to at least get a hold of these guys and um, start dumping that in your paint. All right. Okay. Done that. I still smell mildew. So we're going to give it a chance to set aside. Um, that's interesting. Um, let me. You want me to come smell it? I do want Lisa to come smell it here in a second. <sighs> Clear my nostrils. Maybe I should do like the whole ginger thing. It's not as bad, but I, st I, when I really take a big whiff, I very, very, very slightly can smell mildew in there, but it's very slight because I'm really, I mean, you really don't put your nose up to the wall and inhale it like that. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's still there. I'm going to do one other thing before I have you step in. I'm going to take citrus squeeze and we are going to squeeze some citrus squeeze into um our nasty smelling paint to see what happens if this actually works um citrus squeeze because i like I, I like the smell of citrus i think if i if it worked i'd rather have my wall smell like citrus than soap but whoa that's some strong citrus oh that wrong wrong thing stir it up over into the gray. So we've now just changed the color of our gray. 
because we put white in there. But it's all just boxed paints anyway, so it's... Okay, our final taste test is prepared. Let me smell this. Oh, didn't work. So, didn't work very good at all. So, it, it doesn't mask the odor. Um, now what I have is I have a combination of mildewed oranges is what I've got. So, um, let me try that one more time. Yeah, my oranges got a little bit of mildew on them. So, it, it does smell better than it did, but there's still a really strong odor smell mildew. Let me... Okay, now I'm going to separate them. And we're going to allow Lisa come over here. Well, I think this says odor X, so that is to remove that odor. So the other is just for regular okay. paint to make it. So Lisa's talking and um, she's got some really good points. Odor X eliminates the odors of paint. Um, and so this is just adding some flavor to the odor of your paint. It's not eliminate the odor. So, I mean, we don't want to bash on this. This stuff actually works really good. Maybe so put it in the regal. Okay, I'll put it in the regal. So Lisa's got me just doing other things here now. So we're making all kinds of flavor tests and taste well, tests. The regal here. doesn't smell bad. Okay, um, we'll do should we I would do citrus squeeze the same thing because we'll Oh, citrus squeeze and bad paint. Citrus squeeze and good paint. Good is it a citrus squeeze and bad paint and citrus squeeze and good paint. Bad smelling. Bad smelling. We're not saying it's, whoops. Now we got our flavor all over our work site. Well, that's maybe good. Um, okay. Okay. So we've got our citrus squeeze flavor added in there. And now we've got Lisa here to taste test um, them all. I'm going to smell, smell it. Um, yeah, that's a nice, now that's... I need to start with those ones because they have the huge difference. And like I said, um, the Regal is one of the better smelling paints that I've ever used just out of the can. And, um, you know, when it comes to these products, this is, um, there's a, a lot of things. If you're a professional painter, there's things that you can upsell to your clients. You can... Um, upsell a bug juice in your paint and and um some uh waterproofing agents and paint and stuff like that on exterior um, um on a on exterior projects and stuff like stucco this is something you can speak to your clients beforehand say hey do you have um sensitivities any type of odors and stuff like that and if they do you can offer an option like hey we can put some crisp linen in your paint we can put odor x in your paint to eliminate odors um, kibosh kind of does the same thing. It wasn't as effective as Odorex, but you know, if it costs you, you know, hypothetically $5, you can add $10 to the cost. And it's just a way as a professional painter, you can upsell your paint. If you're a do it yourself, or it's a simple way to make your but house smell better. I just think it's important because it's, you're caring about your customer. You know, if, if they're sensitive to smell, you let them know you have this product that you can use and it makes it a more pleasurable experience. More pleasurable experience. So we're going to have, we're going to put um, flavor number one here, flavor number two. Flavor. Um, scent. Scent one, scent two. Because all what I did is now I've mixed them up and, and so you don't know which one's which. And it's like I'm playing the game. Well, the one's gray, so... I'm going to smell them. Ooh, ooh. See, now I should not look at that because now I'm mix them around. Okay. Oh, <coughs> man. <coughs> I don't know. Like, sm <laughs> smelling that is actually good for my lungs long term or not. So, okay. Um, okay, I know what's what. And so now, Lisa, you can smell... So here, Lisa's start gonna here. smell. She's gonna start there. That's just like gross. It's <laughs> is that the citrusy one with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's more like dish soap. Okay. Yeah, that that's that's not wrong like the other one.
it's just yeah, it's like a chemically smell. Chemically. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Oh, that's nice. So that's, that's nice. Ple- that's pleasant. Okay. I I would highly recommend. You know, if you're using a regular paint, I would recommend, you know, talking to your customer if you do um, color consultations. This is a chance for you to get to know your client, what they're looking for, and to make it just a great experience. So I would highly recommend putting the stuff in pleasant paint. And then if you are going to save paint from the landfill, which is a great thing, and it's cheaper, and there's a reason behind it, you should buy this. So well, that you don't have not to. not yeah because we haven't told you what's in where oh. um oh let me open this back up I'm gonna tell you what's what here but that's a Tyler smell okay so so Tyler can smell all three of them he kind of knows what's in that one yeah that one's a uh, orange not pleasant. <laughs> So do you smell orange in that then? I do smell okay. orange, but I smell everything that was there before too. Okay. That one, that one, yeah, that one smells like good dish soap. Good dish soap, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're on Okay, same page. same page. Okay, we gotta um, learn how to do the smelling like Tyler, he's like an expert. Yeah. Can't believe that. Is he a wine guy? Oh, I hate wine. Okay, you're a pink guy. <laughs> Oh, that one's, that one's actually pretty good. I feel like that one's the least aggressive smelling. Okay. Oh. That one, yeah, that actually smells like something that you'd want to smell. Right. Like, yeah, it's like a candle. Yeah, and so that's, um, this has the orange in it. Um, this has um, citrus orange in it, is all it has in it. This one has odor X in it, so you're definitely smelling, both of you said um, you'd smell like the um, Lisa said chemically smell, um, and I think um, Tyler agreed with it. This one had kibosh in it, and so I think the cup as the kibosh has sat in here more time. It's actually it's taking more effect to it. It doesn't have as much of a strong chemically or soapy smell, I would say to me. So they, they, they definitely, both of them have definitely masked the odor of the paint and they've definitely masked the odor of the um, mildew effectively. I think this one has masked the odor of the mildew more, but it's given it more of a chemical, a little bit of a chemically soapy smell to it. And this one has a more pleasant soapy smell to me. So um, there you have it. It's, um, I mean, if you've got some nasty smelling paint, Kibosh and Odorex may be um, the ticket for you. I'm gonna, let's see, stir, I'm gonna stir this one up one more time. We'll stir them both up one more time and see if it's effectively, see how thick that paint is? That is some serious paint. Now that's because who knows, maybe the chemicals inside these bottles need time to react with the paint. But there is something I read about this. I'm gonna have to go, because I think as the paint dries, I think it does something. So I'm gonna go back and read it here. That, stir this one. Man, they're, they're both smelling you know, fairly equal to me. I think they're both about as equally as effective. They both just have different smells to them. Okay, I did do some research on um, Kibosh and Odorex on the internet. And I do, I wanna read this because I think it's pretty interesting about the Kibosh product. And there was more information in on Kibosh than there was Odorex. And it says Kibosh is a paint additive that neutralizes the paint odors. And I think both of them have neutralized the odors um, pretty well. Once the paint is applied, the Kibosh molecules attach themselves to the paint vapors, causing them to fall away undetected. Simply add kibosh to your paint to eliminate paint smell so the paint interiors can be occupied sooner. So apparently um, the kibosh molecule binds to the nasty molecule and the nasty molecule just falls on your floor and now you have it on your floor apparently. 
and um, you can just sweep it up. <laughs> that I'm just kidding. That, um, but anyways, that's what it says. It says eliminates 75 to 90 percent of paint odors. Ideal for commercial contractors painting and occupied buildings. Works in most paint stains, primers, epoxies, and most other surface coatings. Will not affect paint adhesion, hardness, or performance. And that's on the Kabosh product, the Odor X, which I left on my desk. Um, the Odor X say says it just um, goes into the paint and um, binds with the paint and says it just helped eliminate the paint odors. It didn't go into detail about like molecules and stuff like that. So, um, you know, what's interesting about it is it binds to the molecule. So if you're far away, it binds to the molecule, the molecules, the two molecules now fall to the ground. So at a distance, you apparently won't smell anything. Now we're just testing it right here, adding it to the paint in all fairness and we're smelling certain smells and stuff and um, we're smelling like the soap and odor smells you know uh, once it's applied in that room you may not smell any odors once again um disclaimer we're we have not applied this what we're saying is it is actually masking the bad odors while the paint is still wet and the odors are coming out so at least it, it, to me it appears like the bad molecule is bonding to um, the good molecule and we're smelling the good molecule more than the bad molecule. So apparently the bad molecule still exists. It's just bound to a good molecule. Um, science stuff. So there you have it. Um, give, give it a, if you've got uh, situations and stuff where you've got bad smelling paint, um, then these may be an option. This right here, um, simply adding citrus smell to your paint is just gonna make the whole entire room smell like citrus. And um, the Odor X, um, they don't go into that whole molecule bonding thing, so you just may smell just the pleasant odor of the Odor X, um, the soapy type smell, instead of the nasty type smell. Apparently, Kabosh is claiming that um, the smells are falling to the ground and not floating around in the air. That's how I actually take that. If you're from Kabosh and I'm wrong, um, just get a hold of me, let me know, and I'll do an update to this video. So there you have it. Hopefully, this has been entertaining. Hopefully, it's been helpful. Um, the products, these products, uh, the Kabosh, the Odor X, you actually can find them on paintlifesupply.com because we um, I actually really like these products and use them and stuff. And I just got the Kabosh and got the Odor X because um, of my experience with this paint and wanted to test it and start um, putting it in the stores for people that need to eliminate odors and paints. So it's available at paintlifesupply.com or you can just go down to the video description below and check out the video description and get the link uh, to the products. And we're done with this video. If this video helped you at all, if you want me to test out anything on, um, on our channel, Paint Life TV, just leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if you want me to test it, um, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified next time I come out with a, uh, a new video. And if your video is there, you'll actually see it in the video or in the email. You'll see the thumbnail and everything and you can go, hey, cool. If you got any questions or comments about this product or anything else, leave it down in the comment section below. Subscribe, notify. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, just don't do anything or actually give us a thumbs up also, even if you haven't enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it. Thank you, out.